So far, we've seen that if you want to modify a particular element in an array, all you have to do is access the corresponding index and use the equal sign to assign a different value. But what if you want to make further changes in the array? Example, you want to remove an element from the array altogether or you want to add elements to it. Or a combination of the two, you want to remove some elements and insert some other elements somewhere in the array. Well, that's what we'll look into in this lesson. We're going to talk about some very useful methods that arrays, that all arrays have. Um, one of them, allow push, allows us to add elements at the end of an array. Pop, on the other hand, removes a single element from the end of the array. And splice is a much more flexible method that allows us to do both removal and insertion in any position that we want. The first thing that I want to do is show you how to get the length of an array. So I have my array there, weapons, and I'm going to show in the console the length of that array. I'm going to type in the name of the array dot length. And that will show me the number of elements that the array has. This is useful in server allocations when you just want to query the number of elements that an array has. Let's use push to insert some extra weapons. I'm going to I type in name of the array dot push and now I can put in more elements to it. I can put in a knife, uh, maybe a laser knife that exists. And that should give me, um, that should give me uh, an array with more elements at the end. So we have the same array as before and we added two elements to it at the very end. I want to now get rid of the very last element that we added. So I'm going to just type in pop and that gets rid of that particular element, which in this case would be laser knife. As you can see, laser knife is now gone. What about splice? In splice, you have to specify, first of all, in what position you want your changes to take place. Remember the position starts in 0, 1 and so forth. So let's say that I want to get rid of both laser gun and stick. So this would start in position 1. And we want to get rid of two elements. So what I have to type in is weapons dot slice and it's going to start position one and let's say that I want to get rid of the two elements laser gun and stick so I'm going to enter two and this will give me a different version of the array splice sorry it's splice not slice splice there we go sword, we got rid of laser gun, we got rid of stick, and then we have axe and knife that we added afterwards. You can also use splice to add elements. So if I wanted to add elements as well, besides removing those two, I also now want to put in elements in that position. I could enter it here, like a bomb, and let's say also a bow and arrow. And then if I reload, I'll have those two added on position one. If I didn't want to remove any element, I can just put in zero and then we're only inserting new elements. See what happens if I put in zero. I insert these new elements and the other elements are the same that I used to have, laser gun, stick, axe and knife. So to summarize, a lot of the time you will need to perform operations in your arrays. You might want to add elements to a list, remove elements to a list, and sometimes you want to place them, the new elements in a certain position or you want to get rid of a particular element or maybe just the last one, you want to do it quickly. So that's what all of these methods are useful for. You Well, getting the, the length of an array is always helpful. You might need it if you want to uh, access that particular element and you're not sure how long the array is, then you, you, you get the length. Length minus one will always give you the last element. Then by using push, you add one or more elements or as many as you want. You can keep on putting comma and more elements at the end of the array. Whereas pop removes a single element from the end of the array. It removes the last element. Splice is the most flexible one that can be used for both insertion, removal, and but the two of them combined as well as we, as we saw in the example. 